yes we are live we are doing our good old community hangout i hope you're going to enjoy this community hangout today we're going to be listening in the background we have christmas music in the background but today we've got a bit uh, something a bit different on today we've got christmas jazz music oh yes it's gonna be it's going to be happening, it's going to be fun, and the first comic that we're going to be having a look at is The Moon Hunt by Matt Kime. So I hope you enjoy enjoy this community live stream and again if you have any questions about these comics or any other topics that you'd like to discuss because it's about the community and it's about hanging out and having fun and reviewing some awesome phantom comics and I also hope that for this month of December, as everyone knows, and if you've been following our channel, we've been, basically, we've been having a new community, a new community post series that has been starting of, at the start of this month, we started it, and it's been getting very, very well, very, very well feedback so if you've been enjoying the phantomus a christmas inspired community announcement series a community comic book post community post series if you've been in, enjoying that and having a look through my phantom comic collection then you can basically say what was your favorite day from up till now of what the favorite comic of that day that you love the most and as always you can comment that down below so let's get this community hangout up and going so today's comics that we're going to be having a look at is the man hunt is the Manhunt and the Golden Queen, the conclusion to their epic series of the Golden Queen Part 3. It is done magnificently done by Shane Foley. And as I said, the Manhunt has been done by Matt Kime and also a fairly, fairly recent issue, The Links in the Chain, a very, very well, I would say very, very well, stripped and great story by our people that are over in Norwegian. It's a Phantom Men story, and it's a sequel to the original Falkenberry story, The Missing Link, which is going to be awesome. I hope you enjoy this community hangout and as always with the christmas with christmas coming up in the next couple of weeks we're going to be having i think one or two more community hangouts so if you're interested in looking at phantom comics listening to me reviewing them and listening to good old christmas music then you're in the right place, you're in the right time, and the right location. So let's get this over, let's get this up and away. So, the, for starters, the cover for this issue has been done by Matt Kime. And if you haven't been paying attention, and you do not know where this may have... He may have got inspiration... From the good old, one of the best Indian phantom artists at the moment. Yes, good old Ankit Mitra. I reckon so that Matt Kime has probably taken some inspiration from Ankit Mitra. 
I think it's a great image that Ankit Mitra did for, I think, the first issue of the Shakti comics series, which got released, I think, early this year or last year. And it was an amazing thing. They're still doing an amazing job with Ankit's covers and his cover work and also the other publisher, I think, in India, which is Rega Publishers. They're doing an absolute amazing job with all their comics. I haven't got up to the recent comics from them, but hopefully at some point we might be able to review them on this community hangout. Maybe next year, maybe next year, maybe if it, if it does happen, maybe we'll be reviewing them next year. So, this one is called The Man Hunts. So we start this story off with a elephant. Yes, an old elephant getting, well, you would say getting ambushed by a very desperate lion. A very, very desperate lion. He's a male lion. And our story and art has been done by Matt Kaim. And the lettering uh, is... Okay, is has come from Graham Jackson. And if you haven't been following how Matt Kaim has been doing his stories, he obviously I interviewed him on the second season of The Enthusiast, but he mentioned in that interview that the first, one of his first ever stories, which was, which was basically, it's about, when his first ever stories, obviously, it's the day at the races, it's Diana and the Heartbreakers gang, and it's also the issue with Helois. Now, in these three, in these two comics, plus this story, it, he said that a lot of his stories, especially the like, the previous two and this one have focused around how he has a big his big motivation for stories is to do with family and how family is so important to him and it was a great conversation I had with Matt Kaim and you can go watch it if you want to at the end of the video you can then watch it up here if you have not as of yet so, obviously, Diana Heartbreakers Gang was about Diana and the Phantom, I think, having a lesser role than usual. And the issue with Holois was basically an issue about Holois and basically trying and putting the things that she's learnt from her father into, you would say, action. And this issue is all about the Phantom having a good old chat with a future potential generation of the Phantom, which is Kit Jr. It is Kit's moment in the sunshine, Kit's moment in the spotlight in this issue. And as we find out that there's these two criminals, not as we have thought to be, these two criminals take advantage, you would say, of some jungle patrol men, and basically after that, they basically ran, they basically over hijack their jungle patrol jeep, and then they're off going again. And, well, jungle, these two jungle patrol men are very, very disappointed in themselves. And why... And really, they sh they are very harsh on themselves. They're in very deep trouble. They've got a desperate line near them when they don't even know that they've got a desperate line in them. And the Phantom and Kit, Walk uh, Kit Walker Jr. are actually out and about and looking for these people 
who he doesn't the phantom doesn't necessarily know that a jeep a jungle patrol jeep has been taken but then he notices oh that's a jungle patrol jeep that should not be with them and he takes advantage of this situation and he basically puts this does he put this story to bed or is it going to have something else involved with it Oh yes, the jungle patrolmen are in very deep danger. They're in big danger of basically getting themselves killed by a lion. But with the Phantom and Kit Jr. wrapping this whole second, you would say, first situation up, they then are looking for this jungle patrolman who are in... A pretty precarious situation. They're fighting and getting up against a lion who is desperate, as I've said. And when a desperate lion wants food, he will stop at no causes. He will stop at nothing to get that food into his big, big lioness, lion belly. Into his big, big lion belly. So then the Phantom saves these two jungle men, patrol, jungle patrolmen, and they walk out of the long grass and find, and find that these two people who have already taken their jeep have been tied up. How did they get tied up? Like, how did they get tied up? We will, they do not know, they do not know. So then they go back to the Jungle Patrol headquarters and, well, the Phantom takes care of the lion and the lion, unfortunately, passes away. So I'll read this little page for you. Sleeping like a baby. Here, son, look at his paw. Here. It's been broken in several places. No wonder it resorted to attacking cattle. It's a good thing we got here when we did, or he'd have added human to his diet. So what now, Kit? Well, well, did need help from our Wambezi friends to take him to Endon. He won't wake for some time, but will need to organise a net and a raft. Good thinking, son. We'll see what we can do about his foot. But either walk, either way, I think the limper here will enjoy life on Endon, and he'll be able to eat till his heart is content. So did that lion pass away? Probably not, but he also went to, he's off to Endon, which is a good, good turn of the events for this lion, who may have caught, he may have caught human and added it to his diet, as Kit said. So we now have the Phantom and the Golden Queen, episode three of three. Now the Phantom, he's put, he's Basically, he's pulling this big arrow out of his chest and arm area. And he's in to the Galileo's big stadium. He is taking on Isaac. The Phantom is in a deep struggle for the fight of his life. If he doesn't make this through, this challenge through... He will be probably be left on the ground, probably in bits and pieces, and looking for a good way, looking the good way to try and get back to his ancestors. But no, he's not going to let that happen. The Phantom ducks, and he makes the most of his opportunities to take out Azak. Finally, the big giant. He is left on the ground, pondering this is his final battle. But is it? The Phantom 
says victoriously, what will they do now, I wonder? This could be so all very, so, this could be bad, this could be good, or very, very bad. No burning our queen remains, yes. Phew, what a relief. Oh, my poor foolish brother. Forgive him, please. I know he didn't, he did wrong, but he lost his way. We have lived too long. Too long, my poor, poor brother, that we should see you reduced to this. <laughs> Mercy is the way of the gods. Yes, yes. Are you sure we should? But he has changed so much. Yes, mercy is the way of the heaven. Guards, take him to the temple. And let he b him be seen to. We will talk later. S surely, my friend, the gods led me to find you. Come to the palace, we will attend your wounds there. After the phantom makes it to the palace, the phantom and the queen comfortably embrace each other. And in the coming pages, will the phantom continue on with his legacy that his father brought towards him and his father brought towards him or has he found the love of his life you have never removed your marks may i see your face there is a legend in the jungle that only my future wife may see my face i like that legend stay be my queen, stay, I cannot. I belong in Bengala, in Bengali. Please, rule with me, you would be a wonderful king. No, I am not a king, nor would I want to be. Rather, I am a servant, a symbol, and guardian of the peace among the Bengali people. I have only recently taken in... I've only recently taken on that mantle in my father's steed. I cannot ignore that. I would rather you come with me, silence. But of course, it cannot be. We are both prisoners of the calling, our own calling. Yes, I should leave. Yes. Go, my love. Return to your life and be, and be the giant you were meant to be. And I will stay, and I will be queen. I must be here. Please, when you go, tell no one of us. We depend on our seclusion. Promise me, I promise. Remember me with this. And that is how... That golden leaf ends up in the Phantom's Skull Cave. Oh yes, that was a great story by Shane Foley. A great part of me reading the panels, you would say it yourself. And this story was inspired by the Leaf Folk and Slyberry 1969-1970 Sunday Story, The Golden People. Great stuff, great work, Shane Foley. This has been a tale for the tales. This has been a tale for the years to come. Okay, now did we have Mr. Casey here? In this one. We sure did. So, Dudley Hogarth, for the last, what, a good little while, hasn't really been... Hasn't it really been that generous? Uh, well, he has been generous, but he hasn't put out a few crew award. 
and with good reason. Like you've, uh, many people who have received this award, you would think that they there would be much consideration where this award would be put towards someone. But a lot of the times when we've seen this award being presented to people, and like myself, I have said many things about this award and how the and how this has been the award has been chosen and put towards people now me saying that and it not being awarded for a lot of people and for those people that had received that award it's sometimes i would say sometimes in the past it's been controversial how people have received this award but Casey, good old Casey, Casey has sent in free emails, free, very, very well thought out emails and very, 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 very well thought out suggestions in those emails. And yes, he has been awarded, awarded the Few Crew Award. Congratulations to Casey, and I hope this award means, well, I hope this award means that if we see a lot of people putting actual effort and actually time into, in their, into their suggestions, I think it would be, I think it would be a better situation than what we had in the past, where if you talked about something, Sometimes you would just receive the award because uh, I was just, I was, I just said, come on Dudley, please, 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 please let me have the award. Like you can't, you can't be, you can't be like, just like begging to have the few crew award. It's been, there's a reason why you have a few career award and there's a reason why it's been awarded to so many people there's a reason why it's because it's special and it doesn't really get awarded that much and for the there's you've got to be very very great and very very well thought out suggestions and those suggestions have been have to be very very great even to the point and it's it's basically it's up to Dudley if he wants to award these awards to people that are in the forum. And if you would like to send your own email in social, if you would like to put out your own email for public possibly published in another issue or edition of the forum, the Phantom Forum. You can email Dudley at fewpublications.com.au. That is to do with his email address and or mail to the address at few publications PO Box 2206 Cobley West, New South Wales 2031. Great some great suggestions by Casey, don't get me wrong. Some great suggestions. I read the forum. It's very interesting, some of the things that come up. And then there's just people that... Uh, this, it doesn't happen that often, but there's some people that complain about certain things. So when we s still have the Generations portfolio up at the phantomcomic.com.au website, you can get 13 pieces for only $95 and... This folio, this folio is so great, I've got it in my collection, and I absolutely love it. And you can call, if you would like to purchase this for folio, you can call at 02926181222, or visit Few Publications website, phantomcomic.com.au. And then we have the new Phantom World trading cards. You can now get a set of 18 trading cards. The Phantom World trading cards are available at www.phantomcomic.com.au 
$33 plus postage within Australia. I'd just like to say again, great looking cover by Matt Kime. You did a good job. And the next comic we are reviewing is issue number 1932. It is a sequel, a brand new sequel, that is to the original Falcon Barry the Missing Link. A great, a beyond great cover done by Ivan Rodriguez. Ivan Rodriguez. Oh, I love this cover. I reckon this will be in the 2022 edition of the Best Phantom Few Publication Covers, I reckon. So we start off with this usual intro of how a Phantom story, there's only, I would say, a couple of different intros they used when Seymour Barry was running in this, running this, well, you'd say Seymour Barry's was half running the scripts, I would say mostly all of it, but half of it would be Lee Falk, and I think probably 20 20-30% would be Lee Falk and then ha more than half of it would be Seymour Barry because if Seymour Barry did not do the art for the Phantom from the si early 60s to the mid 90s I don't think that the Phantom would be would have been as popular as it was in those three decades that he was working on the Phantom I don't I I really do not think so i really do not think so and the coming the next issue after this one will be issue number 1933 and it will have the sweden edition of the missing link by michael terrors also aka known as also aka known as klaus remurthy and one of my all-time favorites romando felmang and eugenio benny Anthony Benny, but he's also called Eugenio Benny, I think. So in this first story, we have the Phantom finding out that he's been called by the head of the Jungle Patrol, Colonel Warubu. I cannot say his name. I've never been able to say his name. I think it's the same. With... No, I know how to say it. the first commander. His name... And we have the Phantom leaving, Re no, yeah, he's going to the island of Enden, and then this special message goes and is delivered by good old monkey mail, and then Rex and Tom, Toma, deliver the message to the Phantom, and the Phantom then reads it, he goes straight to the Misty Mountains, to find out why are these people traveling to the Misty Mountains. The Misty Mountains are so dangerous that why are they even bothering in going to the Misty Mountains? Is there something that there's this huge, this huge discovery to be made? And the Jungle Patrol, the Jungle Patrol Colonel Wurubu, which basically he runs the... Jungle Patrol when he's not contacting the Phantom, aka the Mysterious Commander. I just, I just didn't say that. No one heard me. I know nothing. Okay, so then the Phantom, he's in the Misty Mountains. He saves these group of people who are going to be, you would say, dead by, uh, death by a bear. And then he finds the people he's looking for. He finds a helicopter. He finds the people he's looking for. He The people show him a picture that was taken by Elaine's fiancé. Who believed that this, this person here, or this monster, this creature, was the missing link. So, what is the missing link to start with? So, the missing link is basically an abbreviated term is the missing link, and it's a ape man sort of thing. It's an ape man, or it's a man ape 
sort of creature. And it's supposed to be the link between Ape and the eventually the evolution of the modern day human. That's basically what it is. And there's supposed to be some sort of missing link in between how we got from A to B and from supposedly how we got from ape to modern day human. I was saying that. How did we actually get back to from ape to modern day human? Why did we say that? Why did we go on those lines? So then the fiend to me works out. This this guy that they've taken a photo of is just a person in a costume. <laughs> this is the part where I got fun. I was laughing. So the person that's in the creature's you would say creature's body is a human. Yes, the missing link does not exist. The missing link is a normal day human. A normal day human. Oh. And then the human, the missing link, tells his story of how he's in a circus and he's wanting to feel like he, he wants to feel like he wants more in life. So he goes up to the Misty Mountains. He is brought food by the tribe below him. And, of course... In all circumstances, he falls in love, and Elaine falls in love with Call All Day. And now, we have the sequel that is called The Phantom, The Links in the Chain. It has been written for us as by Andres Eckerson, and the artist for it is the one and only Ivan Rodriguez. Okay, one of the things I wanted to point out with this comic and this first page is the intro. So the big splash page that you're seeing right now is the intro. And wait for it until the end. Oh, I loved that. A, med a Mediterranean harbour in Europe. No, yeah, the Phantom. The Phantom's just doing some good old onboarding investigations. <laughs> so, the Mr. Walker, he meets the, well, you'd say the boss of the ship, and then he says, the boss of the ship says, Who? Who are you? And for his own pleasure, he gets a good old whack onto the face. And... Then he remembers, you have sailed the seven seas for many years. You have heard of me, Phantom, Phantom, you're real. And then basically the Phantom or Mr. Walker or the ghost who walks or whatever you want to call him. I just said that. I don't know why I said that. But he, you would say you would instills fear into the captain of the ship. Oh, the captain of the ship gives him information away. Now, another thing I'd like to point out is that the art for the last page, this two panels here, these two panels here, they just, they, the only thing these two panels remind me of is that they remind me of the cover and the art that was done by Glenn Lubston. And now Glenn Lubston, obviously, if you haven't heard, Glenn Lubston in the well, the mid nineties, he did a Phantom story, and I think it was one of his first Phantom stories he'd ever done. And that Phantom story was published by Marvel Comics. And the reason why I that reminds me of someone, it just reminds me of Glenn Lubston's art in that series that was done by Marvel Comics, and it was published on The Phantom. It, I have not got the comics or the series from Marvel, but it this art by Ivan Rodriguez just reminds me of those issues from Glenn Lubston. 
So then we see the good old ape, Claudette, and Elaine in the circus. They're throwing, you would say, juggling batons around. Elaine then fi finds this truck and finds registrating papers and does a bit of investigating work herself. She gets caught. She hasn't been seen for a little while. The Phantom or Mr. Walker turns up. Claude says, w what are you doing here? Hey, yeah, I've seen, you you've seen me before perform. I saw you give the performance of your life in the Misty Mountains. You, the Mark's Man, what, what are you up to now for this? Do you work for Magnus? Magnus, who? Listen, can we go to my truck? Something strange is going on. So he tells what he knows. And then he receives a knock from outside his truck door. He's taken to the entrance of the circus. They're about to shoot his wife. And then, good old, oh yes, it's about to get interesting now. This, this ape is about to attack. He goes, <laughs> he attacks the circus men and... Men and they are taken out one by one. The faint the ape is is the phantom. Yes, the phantom has used the same trick Claude has used in the Misty Mountains, and that is one of the parts I went I was laughing about. And so they work it out and they I'm about to read these panels. We are smuggling they are smuggling trucks. The circus has paperwork for a certain number of trucks to leave and enter the country. But trucks break down all the time, so we often start the tour with fewer trucks. And then they catch up when we are in another country. I discovered the old license plates in the back of the stolen truck that was repainted to look like our trucks. Customs only checks for correct papers, not how many times a truck tr crosses the border, which is right. But customs would notice if the trucks don't match the model specified in the papers. And then we go on to trucks being left in the sea. We go on to people giving a new lease on life. We go on to... Animals being smuggled on in sheer uh, trucks. And then we have the ending of the story. Yes, yes. I was talking about this when it started. Oh, yes. It's another splash page. Another thing I would like to point out. Will there, is there another ongoing sequel after this story? Because this story and the last story were so good. I want... I, I would like more if Andreas Eckerson is planning on doing another story with Ivan Rodriguez. That was an amazing story. It was funny and comedic, like the old Lee Fogg stories. It was great. It was great. It was great. I won't rest until all the links in this chain have been broken. Oh, yes. Oh, that was so good. It was so good. So, if you are a person who love their Phantom trading cards, few publications are now, yes, they've now published a new Phantom World trading card. They have 18, it's, they have 18 cards in the set. It's a full set and you can now buy them at www.phantomcomic.com.au for $33 plus postage within Australia. And now, our last ad. The Phantom and the Ghost. The Ghost and the Monster. So you can get this awesome book, graphic novel number two, available now available at few publications at www www.phantomcomic.com.au and you can get this book all for 
95 plus postage. What happens when the world's greatest myth meets the world's greatest monster? Check it out in graphic novel number two. Don't miss this one. Now look at this cover. Great. Just great. Well done. Absolutely well done. It's like a well done steak. It's nice. It's it's tender and it's comedic. Great stuff. Great, great stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this community live stream. If you are catching this live stream on the live replay, I hope you are going to be having an amazing Christmas as we lead up to the last couple of weeks up till Christmas. I hope you've been enjoying the Christmas inspired event community post series. And as always, Keep things from caving, stay safe people, and as always, as always, keep things from caving, and we will, you will see me on another time in this week, sometime this, and another time sometime this week, with another two Phantom Comics, the last two Phantom Comics, the last one, last regular issue of the year, and possibly the Christmas special. Great, it's been great talking to you. It's been great, even greater, reviewing these very, very nice comic books. Very, very nice Phantom comic books. Some great stories in these comics. And as always, keep Phantom caving, stay safe, and we'll see you later. As always, keep Phantom caving, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like, share and comment if you have any of if you have any questions regarding these comics and as always you'll see me another time in this week